I'm gonna love you. Hey what's up guys Camo here and today we are with a new video on the unboxing and the review session of the brand new Red Gear Smartline gamepad and yes guys it is the most cheapest gamepad discovered till date and it cost me about 324 rupees can you believe it guys only 324 it's really very cheap maybe the price may have varied till now just only to uh, 4 to 5 rupees difference but it is the most cheapest uh, gamepad till now it's made and uh, I bought it from Amazon and uh, we are gonna go uh, gonna do the re review and the unboxing session of this gamepad so uh, till we move to the uh, unboxing session if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and to turn on the bell button for getting the notifications of my channel so that being said let's get started so guys this is the new red gear smart line gamepad as you can see and it just cost me 324 rupees if you want to buy this the link is in the description you, know, you don't need to worry about that so let's get into the features about this here as you can see here it's written Wait a minute. Integrated force feedback, two analog triggers, two analog sticks, ten digital keys, 1.8 meter cable, and XD more input mode, and it compares to compatible to Windows 10. So you are thinking, what are these features meant? Integrated force feedback. It means that uh, many games, like um, many new games, like Need for Speed, Most Wanted, and all like the 2012 version means many new games you can get the feedback like the pressure if you suppose in need for speed most wanted if you are driving a car and if a crash happens then you can feel the vibration through this uh, gamepad and two analog triggers it means that uh, the upper one like uh, let me check uh, this uh, this one these are the analog sticks and uh, two analog keys means the triggers uh, this one's only uh, for the movement and 10 digital keys as you can see all 10 digital and 1.8 meter cable which is a good feature if you are using in the uh, TV or a Xbox 360 controller or the Xbox one and you have connected with um, maybe the TV so you can easily do it and XD input mode this is the most important feature guys it doesn't come with all the game pads this means that xd input mode is that all the old and the brand new games which are released till now can support this game pad and it is also compatible with uh, uh, windows 10 so since minus to windows 10 so i bought it and uh, here you can see at the side uh, returns the uh, direct put mode and here it is the in put x input mode and here are the behind ones so without any further delay let's unbox it guys so i've used it before also so here you go so guys this is our red gear smart line gamepad and as you can see it has the analog sticks and these are very comfortable and you won't get pain uh, if you are playing it about one to two hours and it is the most convenient way of playing console games like xbox it's only supports xbox I, I think yes it supports xbox and these are the buttons and these are the analog sticks as you can see this is the r b r t this is l b l t and behind it's written okay it's not visible wait a second it's written a little bit like red gear small line gamepad uh, month and year of import is March 2017 and it's made in China and here you can see the red gear selection uh, uh, logo here's the select key start key and the unlock key and when you connect it to your iPad or Xbox or PC then you can see this this one 
this uh, small uh, rectangular size one it is black now when you but when you connect it it will turn glow into red it's a very fantastic so let me use it in my laptop so you can see how better it is for the gaming uh, i forgot to show you more about this it also comes with oh oh fuck sorry the tripod just slipped off so i'm doing it in my hand so guys as you can see here is the user manual for this gamepad if you have any doubt about this then you can clear it from here here as you can see this is the profile under x input mode and this is of direct in direct input mode and here are the characteristics and the frequently asked questions so that's not that much important and this is the cd it is used because if you connect to your pc or your laptop and it and it and if it's doesn't recognize this then you can put this cd into it and download the file for this one so without any further delay let's get into our laptop so guys as you can see we are we are with our laptop and it's my hp normal everyday for everyday use laptop and uh, here is our controller and let's see what happens when how to install the driver for this one so let's check uh, i'm opening my disk okay so that's open and this is as you can see this is our driver and it is going into this let me show you and this is our driver i'm just fitting it so it's fit now let's get on to it so it's just fit let's see and it's open so as you can see uh, here is written fire currently on the disk and you will see this kind of file named bm575s0302.exe so open it and uh, it's loading as you can see here it as a so click here yes then preparing setup it will set up here i am already installed so it will say reinstall or uninstall yes to install no to uninstall the driver so i'm going to reinstall this one and here as you can see here it's written usb vibration joystick bm is configuring your new software installation so here it's loading but Unfortunately, I have uh, actually, so I don't know how to do that. So let's cancel it. So here, normal setup will come, and as you see uh, here, it will come. Yes, yes, uh, means next, 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 like that, and you have to install it. So I'm not going to show this one, and you know that that is like a normal setup. So I'm just going to take out my disk. Thank you. So I so now we are gonna put this USB cable. That is normal USB cable. You can put it in your USB port. So here is our USB port. I think you can see. Let me lift it. Oh, oh. So now maybe you can see. Here is our USB port. this one and now we are going to put this inside so now as you could hear the notification the sound sound was there which stated that our gamepad is connected so if it doesn't work go to settings then go to devices and then once you've gone to devices here you can see xbox 360 controller let me bring it here you will see here xbox 360 controller and then you have to click it there so i can click it and here it says remove device that means that 
our Xbox is connected. Of course, it's connected. You can see it clearly. So no USB. So okay. Here is this one, and uh, maybe we can do now. Need for Speed Most Wanted, 2012 version. It has really good graphics, so we are gonna start with this. Let's see if it works. So it's loading as you can see, and it has been loaded. So as you can see, here it's connected, and I'm handing this one. This is our gamepad. So let's press start. And as you can see, I've pressed and it's got started. So I'm gonna show my gamepad in front of you so that you don't think that I've cheated. Here, see, it's asking for clicking uh, A for continue and uh, it's not clear here, but it's uh, saying that click A for continue and B for back. So I'm of course gonna continue. So as you can see, this is the A button and I have just pressed it in front of you. And see, it worked. This means that our gamepad is safely connected. And as you can see guys, it has been loaded perfectly. So as you can see, I have brought this near and this is our gamepad so i'm gonna play this in front of you so let uh, let's go in this game here's the as you remember the integrated force feedback so you can feel the pressure if it's crashed see i'm moving it forward and without any problem it's moving so okay it's moving successfully and uh, I'm moving it right side so as I'm moving here and let me do the accident oh so that was an instant one so you can feel that so let me do one accident let's go that car behind okay uh, okay so let's move it so as you can see I'm moving it and mm, you will feel the feedback guys it is a very strong feedback which I'm feeling now maybe you can't see it but when you will bring and use it it will you will feel the feedback in some of the games like now I'm using need for speed most wanted so guys here's the proof that it works in this need for speed most wanted game so no need of taking tension while whether it will work in this game or not because I have shown you the evidence. And here it says OK click A. So I am going to click A. Uh, OK let me show you. It's clicking uh, OK A then here is A. I am clicking and it's off. And let me try it with one game. But before guys let me mount it properly uh, so that it won't do any mistake now. So guys we are back and now we will be with the game called TMNT Out of the Shadows and I will go And it is also a very good game. I think that's a new version and it's the activation so it's a very good game with a fantastic graphics. So let me put this in front so that you can watch it very easily let me increase the brightness yeah so here it is asking to continue but I'll press the A or the B whichever works I'll press A it doesn't work B also I don't know why it doesn't work let's click enter and here as you can see guys it's saying OK and it's A so here is a screen and here is our gamepad so let's click A and it works 
So as you can see, if you if you check for the settings, so see I'm clicking it down, it goes down, up, up. So according to your choice, and uh, help go to help an option and click select. For click select, you have to click A. And for A, it uh, says here it says use gamepad. As you can see, yes, see A gamepad and I'm clicking and choosing the option option. And now I'm gonna show the controller player. So let's select it. And here's the Xbox 360 controller. Since I have this one, so it will be very similar. See, move is this key. Camera is this key. Select button is this key, as you can see. This one. And inventory is the upper. Uh, what do you say? The analog triggers. So here is our and for attacking it says uh, weapon attack this one take counter interact so let's play our game without any delay the starter one so select a as you can see it's uh, asking for red and here is the I'm not going to use anything none of them so for using the inventory it's asking for L B so this is the B and as I click it used one shuriken and for moving you have to click this one sorry not for moving this is for camera oh, sorry sorry so for moving you have to select this one as you can see leonardo is moving right now so let's play some of these so far enjoyment mm, i'm gonna bring it in front of you so that you won't think that it is fake so i am controlling now and where to go Okay, my friend will be excited. So I'm gonna click A and it's interact or either jumping. So I'm gonna go again A and for running, I, and for running you have to click R B and here is the place we have to go. So click R B and you will run. And R T I think is for something else. Uh, I forgot what is it. So here is the controlling. So as you can see, I'm controlling this and using this. So I am using this and it's running as you can see. No, it's. Falls through a manhole. That's a tragedy. You're describing a tragedy. A weird and wonderful tragedy. You're a sick, sick turtle. So here it's moving, and uh, here's the moving key. And as you can see, it's normal running. And for furious running, you have to do like control, uh, make it forward, and click R B, which is which is here. As you can see, where it's written one, this one. I'm pointing in my finger so click this and this will run for normal here you can see it's running like this and for running if, if you click this it will run like this I know what each of you can do gotta make the decisions delegate if you release it just like this so so this was uh, from the unboxing and the review session uh, session of the red gear smart 9 gamepad if you uh, find this uh, unboxing and the review session uh, helpful please uh, give it a thumbs up and don't uh, forget to comment down in the comment section how you felt about it and what are your opinion about uh, this uh, gamepad and the link is in the description below uh, much more this was uh, till now from us and uh, please guys subscribe my channel uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and uh, turn on the notification uh, click on the bell icon for the notification shot oh, sorry and please like uh, share share our channel among your friends families and all and please guys mm, come please guys to uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for better gaming experience and assignment and yes guys as you have seen i have uploaded many intros and outro templates so guys i'm happy to announce that you all can if you want you can download my intros or my outros in my uh, in your video so I will 
not give you any copyright strike and if you claim any if you think any copyright strike then you can uh, give the dispute to me and I can allow you to use it so it's not like that that you, you can't use me uh, in truth and outdoors it's not like that I'm helping you to grow your channel and of course I'm growing mine of course right so yes this was from us and uh, and the intros and outros which I made are from Panzoid. Maybe you are aware of with that uh, website. And it's a very good website. I was really searching for uh, about one or two months for how to make fantastic 3D intros and outros. And I got the channel fortunately. The intros I made is from a uh, Panzoid, and some one or two I think I made from uh, Panzoid, and others I have downloaded. Uh, in the YouTube so I will show you how to make an intro in Panzoid and how to download outros of your uh, wish so th this was from us thank you guys for watching we'll be with a new uh, new video till then bye and peace out